Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. No, I don't think it would be a good idea to send you another load, sir. No, sir, I don't... <clears throat> Sorry, I, I don't think it would be a good idea to send you another load. Yep. All I'm trying to say is I'm sure we could get through this a lot quicker. Hello? Hello? Ah! Mike, what the hell are you doing? That was a complaint. Just making sure you're not late for Barry's meeting. Oh yeah, I'm sure hanging up in customers will really help that. Ah. What are you looking for? My proposal thing, I need it for the meeting. Have you tried underneath those folders there? idea of a joke. I just thought you might be having second thoughts. I'm not, and will you just stop this? They're already starting to suspect it. What's wrong with that? Because I don't want Barry to find out, or anyone else for that matter. You shouldn't even know. Hey, I never asked you to share your feelings with me that time at the Christmas party. Thanks for that. Look, you know how drunk I was. I would have told anyone. You had half a bottle of Bacardi. All right, well, can we just drop it? I should have went in for that promotion. Yeah. What? You're the one that's scared that Barry's a homophobe. All right. Besides, you'll be shitting yourself in that meeting. Look, I'm not saying Barry's a homophobe, but it's just... You know what I mean? The way he runs this place like it's an army regiment. He'd be more proud if a married man were to be his successor. Mike, that's it. I'm not actually going to go for it. No, 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 you're right. I could just give him the impression... Are you serious? Why would you want a fake marriage? As bad enough as they are. I'll improvise with it. Come on, just give me it. I just need it for the meeting. Please. Right. Just because you're going to make a complete arse of yourself. Mike, you are a star. Yeah, just don't lose it. That wasn't good. Hey! You forgot your part! Well, I uh, think this interview has gone rather well. Clive, you're a bloody fine candidate, and I'm giving this promotion to you. That's what I'd be saying to you right now if the other candidates turn out to be pig shit. You follow? And that's what it all boils down to. Although I have to say you reported to show some solid ideas, but uh, I just hope you're the best to see this afternoon. I hope so too, Barry. Listen to me, Clive. Regardless of what I've just said, you've always been a principal member of this team. But as I said earlier, I do have to interview the other candidates before I can make any kind of decision. But I uh, think we should have a one-to-one -one later. Man-to-man. -man. Really? That would be fabulous. <clears throat> that would be great. Although these interviews are causing me to do a fair bit of overtime today. Why don't you come over for dinner tonight? Dinner? You know, at any other time, Clive would have classed you as sucking up to the boss. <laughs> but, uh, call me in a good mood. Come in. Leave your address with my secretary, and I'll head over. Shall we say about eight? It would be fine. <clears throat> Since when have you been a married man? Oh, by the long face, said the stud to the gay. Mike, Mike. Invited Barry around for dinner tonight. Why? 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 He saw the ring. Now he wants to meet the wife. Well, I guess you could borrow Susan for the night. Do you think she'd be up for that? No, I do not think she would be up for that. She'd have her nuts on a plate. You know what she's I can't like. I believe I was so stupid. Why don't you ask one of your lady friends to help you? And not every gay man's got a selection of fag hags on speed dial, you know. How desperate are you for this promotion? Isn't that obvious? Hi, Donaldson. 
I don't care why she's late. I'm not paying for the first hour. Look, this is totally ridiculous. Well, I'm looking at that bed right now. There's the doorbell. That bed's a bit off. I know, I know. I beat those slow bastards on the M8. Suck on that, Clarkson. I was going to say it. I wasn't expecting you, Susan. Mm, mm. So, uh, so where is she then? The better half, that is. You haven't locked her in the kitchen, have you? <laughs> no, no. My wife... Barbara's just popped out to get something. Mm. Let me take your jacket. Speaking of which, I've uh, come straight from work and had not had much chance to freshen up. Uh, sorry, the bathroom is just upstairs. Mm. Mm. Shit. Thank God. About time, come on in. I'm drunk. Drunk? You're Barbara. She's gone. Who's gone? Barbara. She just turned up to tell me she's leaving me. Yep. Ten years of marriage just down the pan. Would you like a drink, Barry? I could really do with one. So your uh, your wife just left you? Yep. That's one for you. What was that? The neighbours. Sounded like it was coming from your hallway. I'll be okay for you, boy. What's your game, Clive? Game? Well, it's not what you think. How long did you think you could fool me, Clive? Right, let me explain. She's not my wife. She's a call girl. I'm calling the police. Barry, I'm gay. I'm gay. Listen to me, Anne. I didn't think you'd give me the promotion if you knew, so I had an escort to pose as my wife for the evening. So what's she doing in the last cupboard? She turned up drunk. I didn't have time to think. Listen to me, Clive. I'm a businessman. And I've never given a moment's thought to an employee's personal life. In fact, yesterday Mike told me in the office that you were coming out of the closet. Mike said that? Clive. I can't begin to tell you how disappointed and disgusted I am with you. I came here tonight to listen to you pitch your new ideas, but what do I get? Dishonesty. I don't need to explain myself any further. Marty, wait! I'm not giving you this promotion, Clive. I think that's obvious enough. But I still expect you to be at your desk first thing on Monday morning, just so long as you don't have to hear about this situation again. Any mention of an unconscious prostitute and a homosexual could put me deep in enemy territory. I hope you understand. She's not a prostitute! Cheers, Mike. I'll go you for the rest of the night. May as well make some use of you. Use your spider sense! Swing the sick spider man! Hurry up, come on! Susan, the door. Susan! I'm in the bathroom. Well, get out of the bathroom! Why does my life suck? Hey, are you Mike? Hey? Hey? Mike, who 
Susan's at the door. Susan, I've got the door. It's fine. It's fine. Um, no, Susan, don't come down. Who the hell Please. is she? Hey! A chicka boom. A chicka boom.